Hi there, so just to show how the new merge processor works um, Firstly, you would have to have your folder structure like this You would have your main folder uh, This name can be whatever But inside of those folders, you're going to need to make new folders uh, Say for example, you have two brackets So then all of your two brackets will go in this folder in number two And then all of your threes goes in this folder number three and then and and so on um, so what you do is you go to your patch tools click on merge processor and then you can tick some of these settings here um, I'm just gonna save also as JPEG so that I can see the image start patch and then go to your main folder so here's my folder so when I do my patch I'm going to click on the main folder I don't want to click on the numbers then it's not going to work, it's going to do nothing if you click on the on the numbers it's going to do nothing at all so make sure that you click on the main folder so that it can start by number 2 merge all of those and then it will jump automatically to number 3 and if there's more then it will finish all of those so main folder, click OK and then it's going to do the merge and we can see we now have a new merge folder here and one is done so here's a done image if you want the layers then just double click on the PSD okay so it seems now that both is done um, so if I want the original layers back I have it here so my ambient and then my flash so yeah you can just like if you're going to do like a window pool Go to your Expo Blend and then click on Darken Layer. So you'll see the name changes and the blend mode changes, and then you can just brush your window detail in there like that. And if you want, <coughs> if you want some, um, say for example, you want the color of this flash layer. So you did your window pool, but you also want to use this layer for to take the color. So I would then duplicate this layer, delete the mask, and then click on color, color layer. And then you can either then brush on certain areas, or you can just delete the mask. And then it will take the complete color, but as you can see it's not doing much because uh, the color is already close to the flash um, so I don't need that layer here now but let's say for example I want to brush more ambient luminosity in here to get some of this luminosity detail in or remove like flash shadows and then I'll click on luminosity layer and then start brushing out of those flash shadows like that there uh, you can obviously you can adjust your flow okay, bring it back went too far and then just swap it over you can click X on your keyboard to swap these colors um, so white is going to remove the flash shadow and black is going to bring it back so yeah that's basically how you use the new um, a merge processor uh, what else is there yeah I, I guess that's about it uh, I'll make another video about some of the other new features soon cheers guys